Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Santa Anita Park, Arcadia, California on Saturday, October the 15th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's go to the Race 9 feature this afternoon, folks. 5, 10 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the Oak Tree Derby. Nine furlongs on the turf, grade 2. Three-year-olds racing for $150,000. Contenders number 5, Dreamy Kid. Number 3, Venomous. Number 13, Midnight Interlude. And number 12, Cloud Man. Going with a 10 to 1 bomb on top here in this Saturday feature, folks. Number 5, Dreamy Kid is the overall speed leader in this stakes field. Racing at the 9 for a long distance on the turf has turned in power run efforts in 5 straight starts, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number 3, Venomous, a bridge spread entry and a 4 to 1 shot in his own right, takes a class drop at 3 track master units, has hit the board in power run fashion in 2 of his last 5 adventures. Race 9 summary, number 5, Dreamy Kid, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Venomous, number 13, Midnight Interlude, and number 12, Cloud Man, 5-3. 13-12 in the ninth from Santa Anita Park, the $150,000 Grade 2 Oak Tree Derby. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, Race 8, here in the $500,000 West Virginia Breeders Classic Stakes. Number 3, Son of Bear, 9-2 shot, qualifies as a power pony. The overall speed leader in this field, racing at or about tonight's distance with nine for ones on the dirt. Hawthorne race course, race two, the nine to two shot, number six, Terran Song, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at or about today's distance with five and a half for ones on the turf. So from a Santa Anita Park on a Saturday, Rick Needham also noting that I'm going to the Clemson, Maryland football game on Saturday. Uh, I will not have a report on Santa Anita on Sunday. Santa Anita would join the rest of the real world, like at Belmont and Keeneland, and produce their PPs and entries two days in advance. I, of course, would have Sunday's card for you. But on Saturday night, Clemson wins. You know, I'm going to be celebrating, partying. If they lose, I'll be feeling pretty bad. I'll just have to party. If they win in cover, I'll be doubly excited and double party hardy. And if they win and don't cover, I'll be sad, but happy, and we'll probably party. So I'll be in absolutely no shape on Saturday night to do a Santa Anita Sunday report. But in the meantime, I'm reminding you to please bet with your head, not over it.